Hello everybody, look, no squid hat today. A little bit of bell. And a new costume. Ta da! Yes. This is my new costume. So here is a good recipe for you all. Have you ever heard of white longaniza or longaniza putti? Well here it is. Yeah, look at that. Longaniza putti. Ah. And what you're going to do for this recipe is first you're going to fry these, okay? Just until they start to go a little golden colour all, all around, like you do with any kind of longaniza. And we've got some pasta already cooked. These are very thin ones for people on a diet. Thin pasta to stay thin. It was a joke. Hmm? Yeah, like. Then we've got some cheese. We're going to grate that. We've got some blue cheese to add extra flavour. Cream tea, cream cheese or yoghurt or whatever you want. Just maybe two or three spoons, okay? Got some chilli peppers and fresh chilli peppers. Mustard. But if you can't get mustard, it doesn't matter, eh? That's not important. But don't use wasabi unless you need your head really hot. And little tomatoes. That's for just a little extra flavour and decoration at the end. Okay, so I'll get these on, on the thing, on the kuali. And then I'll show you how to put all the rest together. Okay, there you have it. This is how you want it looking, okay? A little bit golden around the outside. So that's your white longaniza. Longaniza putti. That's that, okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to mix everything together. I've already chopped up the chilli peppers. There they are. Going in. Next. We've got the blue cheese, that's already crumbled up, okay? So that will mix in easier. It's already broken, you see? Goes in nice and easy. Then, some grounded pepper. The chilli peppers, by the way, you don't need to put chilli peppers. It's only if you like it spicy, okay? So, some pepper. Yeah, that should be enough of that. And here's your mustard. Remember, your mustard. If you can't get this kind, it's okay. Any kind of mustard. But it's not necessary, yeah? It just helps with the taste. So, we put maybe two spoons of that, okay? Or even even three, maybe. By the way, this is very easy to make, huh? All it is is mustard seeds and vinegar, and that's almost all the, almost everything. Then, we've got some grated cheese, okay? We don't need to put a lot in here, okay? Because we're going to use it for the top. So we just put a little bit in, and the rest we save it for the topping. And then, to put it all together, here comes your cream cheese. But, like I said, you can use yogurt, eh? Or just normal cream, anything. So, let's get some of that in there. Yeah. I hope you're going to try this recipe because it's super yummy, eh? Yeah, maybe one more. There we are. That'll do for that. Mm. Give it all a mix in. Mix everything together. And then once it's all mixed, I'll finish mixing, okay? Then once it's all mixed, I'll show you how we put it in there, okay? And there, we filled up half of the tray, okay? Half of the tray with the, the, the noodles and the rest. Now we put in the white longaniza. Longaniza booty. Yeah. This is going to be super yummy, okay? 
can't set the mode easily. Yeah, it's about like that. So then we cover it with the rest, okay? Spread it all out, cover it. Don't worry if it sticks like that, it's okay, we just separate it, okay? Yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect. Because he is not a five star hotel restaurant, no? Okie dokie. Let's separate all that. Two little bits that's left. And then we just add some more, okay? This is your grated cheese, what we did. What's left of it. Spread it all around. Try and get it a little bit everywhere. Try and get it a little bit everywhere. But don't worry if it drops, the cops will get that. Mm. Is everyone going to like this one? Dong, 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 back to dong, 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 dong. Okay, then just to finish, add a little more color and taste. Full little few tomatoes chopped in half, quarters, eighths, whatever you want. Put them on the top. Da, da, da. And then this will be going in the oven, in the center of the oven, in the middle. It's about 180 degrees for maybe 20 minutes, okay? And then after that, it's all ready to eat, serve and eat, and it's going to be super yummy. And always give me your votes on my recipes, eh? I'll, see, I'll be back soon once it's cooked. And there you have it, everybody, fresh from the oven. And look, everybody's waiting to eat it. Look at them, they can't wait, can they? Got two of them in here. Hungry, everybody's hungry. I hope y'all brought your fork so you can join us. And there you have it, all ready to serve and eat. Look, yummy, yummy, massa wrap. So tell your friends about it. Long can ease a putty, tell them all about it.